And new filings today in the federal perjury case of former Baltimore City State's attorney Marilyn Mosby. It's the first major development since her trial was delayed in February. Fox 45's Jeff Abel has been pouring through more than 900 pages of documents this afternoon. He joins us live right now with more on what we know about the case. Jeff. Well, the former state's attorney is once again trying to convince a federal judge that media coverage has been so intense she cannot receive a fair trial here in Baltimore. 30 days. Let's try it. At first, former state's attorney Marilyn Mosby demanded a speedy trial. Now she's demanding a trial at another courthouse. The perjury and mortgage fraud case against Mosby is slated to open here at Baltimore's federal courthouse in November. But Mosby is asking the court to reconsider moving the trial to Maryland's Southern District Courthouse in Greenbelt. In a 900-page motion filed in federal court today, Mosby's new defense team writes that Mosby has endured a steady drip and sometimes a deluge of media criticism and insists she cannot receive a fair trial under these conditions. The bottom line is, is you can't have it both ways. Warren Alperstein is a defense attorney with no connection to the case. The government will say, uh, you know, Mosby and her defense team are claiming that the jury pool is too prejudiced because of the publicity. But on the other hand, it's Mosby and her defense team that has caused the publicity. In fact, in January, the judge overseeing the case issued a gag order on Mosby's previous defense team. But Mosby's new public defenders have hired a jury consultant who recently surveyed hundreds of Marylanders and found that 62 percent of those in Baltimore and the state's northern district are familiar with Mosby's case, compared to 45 percent of those in the southern district. Their survey also found that 41 percent of those in the northern district claimed that Mosby would have a hard time convincing them that she was not guilty, compared to 36 percent in the Southern District. As a result, her defense team claims the consultants recommended a change of venue or a transfer to the Southern District in order to protect Ms. Mosby's right to a fair and impartial jury. These uh, arguments have been put forth time and time again, and I suspect that nothing is going to change, that this trial will go forward on the counts as charged and uh, hopefully this can get put behind all of us. Well, we also learned today that Mosby's husband, City Council President Nick Mosby, does plan to testify as part of a defense witness. We are live tonight. Jeff Abel, Fox 45 News. All right, Jeff, thank you. And here's what you know about the timeline. A series of hearings and meetings have been taking place over the past few months. They'll last through October. Jury selection is scheduled for October 31st. If that wraps up on time, the trial will begin Thursday, November 2nd. Fox 45 News has done extensive reporting on Mosby's federal trial. Find our complete coverage online at foxbaltimore.com. I'm Kai Jackson. Thank you for watching. Here's another video to watch. Also, please take a moment to subscribe to our channel.